Game on. Hey there, game gurus. Welcome back to the channel. Well, you can kind of see what we're looking at today is the XRK Tank Stick. Now, this is a phenomenal piece of hardware. It's been out for a very long time. The quality is legendary. It also has to be one of the GRS business partners. So we actually supply some things that they offer on the website. It's our, my buttonhole spinner and stuff you can put inside this tank stick. But this thing here is absolutely legendary for how incredible it is. But that's not really what we're going to be taking a look at today. We will take some look at this tank stick, but we'll look at something else as well. The one cool thing about this is it is set up for two uh, users. We have two joysticks in here. But what if we took not one, but two GRS Super Joystick Akari Warrior Edition joysticks and transplanted them in the X-Arcade tank stick. That's what we're looking at today. Um, you will need one additional thing. We do have an expansion kit. It'd be about $9 for each one of the kits. So if you want to, it'd be $9 times two. But it's gonna have a mounting plate made out of steel and some cables you'll need to convert the X-Arcade to accept the GRS Akari Warriors joystick. What a cool thing it's a, it could be. Um, I'm very proud with the box, but some people say I don't want to put it in a, in a cardboard box, even though they haven't even tried it yet. And if you look at some of the videos, people really do think the cardboard is pretty good, but you may want something even more robust. Ain't nothing could be more robust than the XRK tank stick. So let's see how we can put the GRS Akari Warriors joysticks inside this tank stick. Next, let's get started. Okay, here's the box for the XRK tank stick. And again, this thing is pretty heavy and massive. The build quality of this thing is pretty legendary, uh, which I'm very happy to be a business partner with them because uh, they're definitely with quality with the stuff that they do. But obviously, we're going to make some changes to this. So let's open this thing up and see what we get inside the box. And this thing is pretty heavy, I'm not going to lie. But again, it's built like a tank, hence the name. So one of the things we're going to have inside the box is just going to be some cardboard, which will get out of the way. I don't need the cardboard. Okay, let's get this thing out of the box. We have all these pieces of cardboard in the way. And we have some cables. Obviously these cables will be used, you know, to hook up for different configurations of the machine. I'm gonna put these aside for a moment. And we're gonna take this uh, user manual and put that aside as well. Silica gel, don't need that. But this is what we want. This thing is massive and heavy and everything, my God. Look at this bad boy. All right, we need to get this thing out of the box. And, uh, woo! Let's get this box out of the way. It's packaged very well, which is pretty good. But uh, let me get this stuff out of the way so I can work over here. Okay, you can see here our, our tank stick, and this thing is built awesomely. It's got real T-molding on here, great buttons and joysticks in here. But we are gonna swap out these joysticks here with the GRS Akari Wars Super Joysticks. So what we need to do is turn this upside down and underneath uh, the rubber feet are some screws. So we're gonna take out the rubber feet uh, on the bottom so we can get access to the board. So you see in the bottom right here, we have all these rubber feet. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need to remove all of these to get access to the underneath. Uh, so let's get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a little uh, box under here so I can flip this over without ruining the joysticks. So I'll be right back. So you can see I just used the cardboard that came inside the box for shipping. And I'm gonna remove these screws. Okay, once you remove all eight screws, we should gain access to the bottom of the board. Just lifting this up and out of the way, like so. We'll put that aside. Okay, so now the bottom covers off. You can see all the different wires that are here. Now we're gonna be basically taking over all the functions here. So we're gonna be removing all these wires here from all the buttons. The GRS Super Joystick can support 12 buttons which is adequate for both of these uh, sides right here. They're about, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And then we have uh, 11 here and then 12 for this side. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So both joysticks will have 12 buttons each, which is exactly how many buttons we have on here. And basically you just have to remove these and remove the joystick. So I want to get on that right now to start removing all these connectors and, uh, Again, you won't be needing this again, so it's okay if they get uh, a little ruined, but you see they come right off. But I gotta do all this, and I'll be back in a minute once I get all these wires off. All 
Now what I find works easiest is you can actually remove the micro switch, it's very easy. Just push the switch to the side and the switch will come right out. And then you can simply pull these off, one, two, just like that, and then put it right back in place. Okay, so you can see right now, I removed all the wires from all the buttons and the joysticks on both sides. And we have all these extra wires here. I'm actually gonna cut these off. Um, I don't really need this. The trackball will be through this cable right here. These are trackball buttons, but I'm gonna have plenty of other buttons here to use. I'm also gonna remove this PCB back here from the XRK, it's not gonna be needed uh, for this project. I'm gonna remove all this. All this is gonna come out. And I'm gonna basically just cut these off because I'm really not gonna need them. So that makes this look a lot neater than it was before. So now I'm gonna remove these two joysticks. I'll do that from the top, uh, remove these screws over here to remove these joysticks. And that'll be what we do next. Now, there are some nuts on here. Um, there's no screw on, there's a screw on the other side, but there's no like flathead or Phillips. So basically I just gotta just do is untwist these little bad boys here to get these off. Okay, once you remove these four screws down here, uh, you can remove these cotter pins here to move the joystick, the bat top joystick, so we can get these out. Now you could have did this beforehand, I used to do it this way. It's not, not any way is right or wrong, but we need to get these off. I'm going to use a pair of pliers here to hold these in place. We need those pliers. And just like that, we can pull off the pin. Just like that. And then we can pull this joystick out. Just like that. And I'll put this stuff back together here so, you know, I don't lose anything. I'll put this away for a moment. Now I'll do the same thing to the uh, other joystick right here. Again, it's not difficult. Just gotta keep it from turning and then just pry it off. Not hard. We got our pin. Maybe there's our other joystick. I'll put this one aside as well. Now once we have the joysticks out, we should be able to pull these right out. And there it goes. Now if you don't lose anything, just put your joystick right back in for another time. Just like that, you have a joystick you can use for some other project. Do the same thing with this one here. Out it comes, do the same thing with this one. We'll save that for another project as well. Okay, so you can see here, we've now removed all the cables, except we have the USB cable here for the trackball. Removed all the wires for all the buttons, removed the board here. I just left this here because, well, just because. But all the other wires have been taken out, and we remove the joysticks. Now, when you take out the joysticks, you also need to remove these uh, long screws. They're going to be too long. So, once again, when you purchase the kit, you're going to get the mounting plate. You're going to get that mounting plate that we're going to need, which we'll put, we'll put one right here to get it ready to go inside. We'll put one right there. So, each kit will include one mounting plate. It comes with a bag of screws, new screws to put to hold this in, and then screws to mount the joystick itself. That'll be here as well. 
And then of course we include two more things. We include the USB-C to USB-A. You need to connect to your computer system and the GRS Super Joystick. Then we do include a separate wire bundle here. And people may be saying, well, Glenn, don't you already include that with the Super Joystick? And we do, but the button sizes are different. These are much larger on here, these micro switches. We include a separate wiring harness for this. But we'll get to that stuff a little bit later. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this little bag here and uh, we include all the screws and mounting hardware you're gonna need. I'm gonna put in my hand here just for a second there. So you can see right now the difference between the pin that they include, it's tilted like that, and mine. It's much, much shorter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another plate. I'll start on this side over here just because it's easier to get to for right now. But I'm gonna put this plate down here just like so. And the screws, uh, I'll get started putting them in. I'll put some of these other ones down for a moment. All I need is a screw, a washer, and a nut. So we'll take our screw and we'll put it through. Put on a little, uh, the nut on there. And right now I'm just gonna hand tight, you know, hand tighten this thing down. Like so. And we're gonna do that for you know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let me get started on that. So now that everything's out of the way, we have the magic plates installed in here, all nice and neat. Next thing we do is to take the uh, Jira Super Stick, the Akari Warriors Edition, and mount them into these spots. We have happen to have one right here. Now for this project, you would need two of these kits. Uh, they're about $79.99 a piece. Uh, basically, you can see here we have all these control ports here. Now, in this particular spot on this side, it doesn't really matter if you're facing it this way or this way. I'm probably am gonna put it with the wires facing back just because. Because on this side over here, due to these buttons, I mean, you could face it this way, you could face it forward. But as you can see, when you put it in place, it's out of the way, but it's a little hard to get your hand in to get the buttons there, uh, but it's doable. So I'm gonna face mine this way. Now, once again, I, I said this, uh, I think in the video earlier, uh, joysticks uh, are set with a certain direction. One is always up, down, left, and right because of the way that they are wired. So they're hardwired up, down, left, and right. Now at a standard joystick, you simply move the, the, uh, the uh, wires around the joystick to, when you rotate it. But this, we have actually software. So with a software download you can do and make all kinds of changes to the joystick. One will be, rotating the joystick. So I'm gonna put what, both these basically at 180 degrees on both these sides. So later in the video, I'll share in the software, we'll go in there, we'll rotate these around 180 degrees so the joystick is actually functioning the right way. But for right now, let me go over here. And uh, as you can see, I have, uh, you know, these kits right here. I'm gonna take uh, the joysticks out of here, which is what I need. And uh, let's get these mounted. So in the kit as well, we also included very uh, short screws. Again, this is included with the little kit. They get the mounting bracket, you get the kit, these old wires and nuts that you put on here, and uh, cables. So this right here will simply go, you know, something like this, put it down here, and there are four spots, and I'm just gonna take these screws, and I'm gonna lock these down in place. Now, right now you can see on the joystick itself, we do include this T-Sticks spacer. We're not gonna use that spacer. We're gonna take that spacer out and so we put this down in place. So this you can, uh, you know, you can put this on your wall. A little teeth sticks plaque, right? But in the meantime, let me get these guys put in place and we'll be right back. Okay, initially I don't turn the screws in the whole way, make it a little bit loose. This way you can kind of eyeball it and get your joystick fairly square, because you're gonna want your joystick fairly square. And once you're happy with how it's set up, then you can tighten in your screws. Okay, I'm gonna follow the exact same steps I did here, over here with another joystick, which I'm gonna go get right now. And once again, when you take out your joystick, you have this mounting plate. You can put this, again, put it on your wall, put it on your desk, share it, share it with your friends. You don't need this plate. Let's put that aside. Or we need the actual joystick. And again, I'm going to rotate this joystick 180 degrees and face it backwards right here. And we're going to put it in this spot. And we'll use our second kit to screw this in place. You can see, that again, they're just very tiny screws. You can kind of see that in the light there. And we always give you extra. So there'll be extra in the box, or in this case, in the bag. 
But we like giving extras just in case you know you lose one, drop one somewhere, you'll have extras. So let me get this guy screwed in and we will continue in just a moment. Okay, we have our joysticks installed. So the next step is kind of more of a personal preference. Now we do need to install these little guys right here. These are the mode and way buttons. You can see right here, mode and way. And what this does is it sets what way, eight way, 12 way, 16 way, or free spinning, or mouse, joystick, keyboard, 40th anniversary edition, and any other features we add to the joystick are done by these buttons. Now, this could be up to you where you wanna put them. Me personally, what I'm gonna do is this, I believe. Let me turn this thing around so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Now on this joystick, we do have these like pinball buttons, but I'm not gonna play pinball on here. So if you look at the top of the machine, like so, we do have a, you know, a player one and player two button. My plan is I'm gonna move both of these up here, like so, because I wanna see what mode that they're in. If I'm player one, I'm gonna be on this side, so I'll just hit player one on the side of the unit here and put a credit in. And then player two would be on this side, so I'm gonna take out basically the pinball buttons and make one the player one and one, you know, player one on this side, player two on this side, and the coin buttons. So I'm gonna be moving these guys out here. And this guy may turn into something else. I'm not quite sure just yet, but that might come out altogether. But these buttons we're gonna reuse, obviously the joysticks here. So again, this is your personal preference. You might wanna leave these here and put these someplace else. Uh, but I think I might want, I want mine in front. I wanna be able to see what mode and what way I am in. Now they're also, in addition to the buttons here on the side, can we do these buttons on the side? You know, I could move them back here. Now on the back of the tank stick, once again, we have uh, these two buttons back here, but uh, I wanna see what mode I'm in. Now I could make that easy, play one and play two there, but I want basically, you know, play ones here, play one and credit. I'm not gonna be playing pinball. So that's what I'm gonna use these for in mind, but it's totally up to you. But I'm gonna get to swapping out my buttons right now. So I'll be back in just a minute. I'm just gonna turn this thing over, like so. And you know, take out the buttons is not, uh, is not difficult. We just turn these little rings on here and we'll get them out. Now they do have, I think, a little Loctite in here, but we'll get them out, no problem. And we're gonna swap them out for these guys over here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we can see right here, as I flip this big thing around, it is a tank stick after all. We had pinball buttons on the side, I now made it player one and then insert coin. So, player one and insert coin. Insert coin, player one. And then on the other side of the tank stick, we have our player two and player two coin. And then at the top, we have our mode and way buttons. So we're making a lot of progress here relatively quickly. The next thing really we need to do is start wiring the buttons. Now, I know some people say it matters, uh, positive and negative, it really doesn't. These are just switches. So either switches on, switches off. So it doesn't matter where ground goes, just whatever you prefer, but we need to route this a certain way. So we have one joystick that can do 12 buttons. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, over here. And then we have our way button over here to set it. And on this joystick, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Look at that. And then our way button. So again, you should wire it. So button one, I'll turn this thing back over for a second. Just when you're playing these games, you wanna wire it a certain way. As I'm dropping things, here's the controller here. So I would do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. And then same thing on this side here, I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we do have a wiring diagram. Uh, in later versions, the wires themselves will be numbered. Right now, just color coded. So I'm gonna go through right now. You start with pin uh, seven, and you're gonna go all the way across from there on the rest. So let me get started on wiring this little bad boy up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so again, when you do purchase your Akari sticks, it does come with its own wiring harness. But you can see right here the size of the connectors versus the size of connects we're using right here. So that's why we include this in the kit. You get larger uh, bullet uh, connectors on here. You can see the size difference in them. 
So these are the ones you're gonna need for these type of push buttons. Now you could take all these buttons out and use my buttons, but right now I'm not gonna do that. Um, I actually prefer my buttons, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use a new wiring harness right here. You can see on the wiring harness, there's three sections. All the black ones, these are all your ground wires. It doesn't really matter, again, what one they go on. Just one button has to get each one of these ground wires. Then we have our uh, main connector here, which goes into our joystick. So this will go into the joystick port. Then we have our Waze button, Waze mode button connector. And then we have our wires that actually go to the buttons. Now on the joystick connector right here, these will eventually all be marked so you'll know exactly which ones go where. But for right now you'll have to count the pins on here, at least I do. So it's pin number seven. So it's gonna go pin one in the top, two in the bottom, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, and that's the one we want. And we'll go across. So I'm gonna start wiring this thing right up and I'll be right back. Okay, something I did notice, the player one joystick, the uh, wires have to face the towards TV unit, away from you to get the wires in here. Otherwise, it might, might interfere with this connector. It might not, but I want to put it backwards. This one had a turn facing the user, facing forward, because there's a little board back here that used to house the control board. So again, it's not a big deal. Well, this one's facing the people, this one facing the TV sets, and again, in the SOFA program, we can modify that. So player two faces the end user, where the player one will face the TV set. So now, after that, now I can get wiring. Okay, so right now we have it pretty much all wired. So I have both GRS Super Joystick, Akari Warrior Edition joysticks inside here. I have the USB-C cables coming to this one spot right here, and I zip tied it keep it coming out from over here. I have all my buttons and we're gonna seal this thing up because we're at this point, that's all we need to do now is close this thing out and give it a try. So let's get this thing closed up.
Okay, so I'm extremely proud of the GRS Super Joystick Akari Wars Edition here with the box that turns into the controller, but you might want something more robust or have two players. So that's where this beast came into play. You can't get any more strong or designed to be beat on than the XRK Tank Stick. And now with the GRS Super Sticks installed, it just takes a little time. That's really it. You need two kits, uh, two GRS Super Joysticks and two of the special mounting kits to work in the uh, X-Arcade. And you can see right here, we have the two joysticks installed, all buttons in use. We actually have two available still uh, that we can install later on. We have our mode buttons up here, so we can change what mode it's in and the way for both controllers. I moved the player one and player twos onto the sides of the tank stick. And then on the back over here, if you are going to play games like uh, Frontline or games like that, I have my daughter boards here where you can set up the controls. So these are just really here just to set up the, the joysticks for the actual emulation. Once that's done, these aren't needed anymore. You can disconnect it. But for now, I put it back here. And we have our two Akari sticks coming out of this cable. And the tripod is still here. And we still have additional expansion spots. Uh, here I have my uh, escape from the emulator and tab to get in the main. And again, so everything is... Very well done. This thing is a tank. This thing's very heavy. But that's it for this edition. If you did like this video, please like, share, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. It does help me out. It takes a second for you, but it really helps out my channel and the algorithm with YouTube. But I'll be doing probably more things with this. I may put some spinners in here and some other things. But for right now, it was just about the Akari GRS uh, Super Sticks. And that's it, everyone. Now, again, no matter what you play or how you play games, remember, these are just games. It's not the same as family and friends. Make sure you tell your family and friends that you love them because tomorrow is never promised. But in between those times, game on. Game on. Sit, blue, blue, sit. Good dog.